Hi everybody, it's Holly and thanks for joining me again today for another super easy camping recipe. So today we're going to be making a chicken and rice casserole in the Dutch oven. You know, it's a little bit different than the normal hot dogs and hamburgers that you normally do when you're up camping. So if you know anything about my recipes, everything is super simple. This is kind of a dump and go one pot recipe. So if you're looking for something new and easy, this is it. Hey, if we haven't met yet, our YouTube channel, Let's Go Now Adventures, is about all things camping. You know, whether you tent camp or RV camp, our goal is to just help you have a great camping experience. So let's just jump right in and get started on this super easy chicken and rice casserole. So what you'll need is some instant rice, some chicken, green onion, cheese, a can of cream of condensed chicken soup, and some chicken broth. Now, I am going to be adding some broccoli to mine. Just know that this is optional. One thing I've already done is I have pre-cooked my chicken at home. You know, I believe in doing a lot of the prep work at home. So my chicken's already cooked. If you're just coming up with some chicken breasts, you'll want to substitute for chicken breasts. So let's go ahead and assemble our recipe. Okay, so that is two cups of the instant rice. What I'm gonna do is take my can of chicken broth and I'm just going to let this kind of soak for about five minutes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken in. Uh, once again, this is the pre-cooked chicken. If you're using just chicken breast, your recipe may take a little bit longer, uh, but you want about two cups of chicken. We've got our chicken in there. And can I just say, this just saves so much time to have your chicken already pre-cooked. So two, cooks, two cups of chicken. We want a half a cup of green onions. We want a can of the cream of chicken condensed soup. And then we're going to be using two cups of shredded cheese. I'm just gonna use half of it right now for inside of my recipe, and then we'll sprinkle the other half on top. So I'm gonna get that stirred around really good. This is definitely one of my family's favorites. Just the cheesy, cheesy goodness. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to this. Now, this is definitely optional. If you wanted to add a vegetable, you could add uh, carrots, peas. I'm gonna use a little bit of broccoli. And I think I just put about a cup in there. But just know, you know, if you're not into broccoli, you could switch up your veggies um, or just leave them out. So the instant rice has soaked up some of that chicken broth, so we're ready to dump that in. Let's get it mixed in good. Oh my goodness, this looks delicious. Okay, I've got the coals over by the fire getting hot. Now I'm going to be cooking this uh, at 350. And so that's gonna mean eight coals on the bottom and 16 coals on top. And we're gonna let it go for about 30 to 45 minutes. Now, keep in mind, I am right now at 9,000 feet up here in the mountains. So my recipe may take a little bit longer than if you're at a lower elevation. But what we'll do is we'll put it on, go for 30 minutes, and then we'll do a quick test. Let's get it in the Dutch oven. Now today I am going to be using some Dutch oven liners. I just got these off Amazon. These make cleanup just a snap. I'll leave the link uh, below if you're interested in using these. Like I say, we're up here boondocking so there's limited water to wash dishes so these work great. Also, if you're looking for an easy way to make your own Dutch oven liner, I'll also leave a link to a super simple way to make your own Dutch oven liners. So let's go ahead, get our mixture into the Dutch oven.
So we actually went an hour on our rice chicken casserole, um, partly because yes, we are at 9,000 feet, but also because we were using the liner. And I forgot to mention to you at the beginning, if you are using a Dutch oven liner, especially these heavy duty uh, kind of like tinfoil ones, you do need to add time to your recipe because it needs to go through not only the Dutch oven, but the liner. So just keep that in mind if you're using a liner. Let's go ahead and dish it up. Ooh, that looks yummy. That cheese on there is just melty yumminess. So there you go. I think we'll add a little bit of salt and pepper to it. What do you think? Doesn't that look delicious? So now for the real test. It is good. So hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope that maybe I've given you another easy camping idea that you can make camping. So if you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. We would also love to have you subscribe to our channel. So happy camping and I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye bye. I hope maybe I've given you some ideas on some fun new camping ideas for dinner. Hey, ha, ha, ha.